I can show you how to sub left, right. I can show you how to sub stroke by stroke. I can show you how to sub left, right. I can show you how to sub stroke by stroke. Show me how to sub, sub, sub. Show me how to sub. Mind your head. Um, Sunday board meeting. We're not on the board, but we're on the Brutus, the electric one. Um, how did you start <laughs> with this whole freaking board membership of you? Well, yeah, that was a long time ago. I started in 2009 when Anne-Marie uh, wanted to organize the first Sub-11 city tour. And she came to Friesland. And and basically there was uh, only the idea um, and Anne Marie she tried it in 2008 and uh, well we ended up organizing uh, together the first edition and that was 2009 that's like 11 years ago now 11 years 11 cities 11 editions uh, yeah yeah it was a <laughs> was a long time ago yeah correct um I had to answer it last week myself, but um, it's kind of funny to ask you this. Have you pedaled it yourself ever? <laughs> no, well, no, no, <laughs> no, I didn't pedal it myself <laughs> yet. <laughs> it's on my bucket list. Um, so, uh, but I did it a few times uh, with the Brutus. We're standing on it right now. So I, I did 11 city tours, I think maybe six or seven times on board of the Brutus and I can tell you that's tough <laughs> <laughs> um, what is your most memorable memory about the event like is there one particular year or one particular situation well I think the the, the most memorable uh, day in in the event in the past 11 years is the the, the day we had to cancel and uh, not because we had to cancel not because it was a uh, so much wind but but the way uh, the decision was made that gave me a lot of uh, satisfaction because we uh, took the decision together with the athletes and we also uh, made uh, the new route for the for the second day or first day how you call it because uh, uh, the first day was cancelled and uh, the way th that happened I was yeah almost perfect of course the conditions were shit the wind was shit everything was shit but the the the, the ideas came from all over uh, and and the, the decision that was made uh, was made together with uh, almost 100 athletes and everybody was uh, happy with the decision, not with the conditions, because they had to pedal 50, <laughs> 50 k instead of 40. And the wind became stronger and stronger, stronger in, the, in the afternoon. Uh, and, and there were some surprise lakes at the end. Uh, we didn't know about the lakes, but there were, all of a sudden, there were like five or six lakes nobody knew about, and it was a headwind, but it was massive. So that was the most memorable day in my 11 years uh, sub 11 city tour and you're talking about making decisions with everyone um we hear that a lot that we got feedback from athletes professional athletes former athletes who have been in the olympics that we have a bit of a special organization um what does it make that we are able to do it like this well I think one of the there's a lot of special things about the Sub 11 City Tour, and that's the the, the basic values Anne Marie put in. Um, uh, Ohana, uh, do it as a you come as a person, you go as a family. Um, uh, we are not there for ourselves; we are there for the athletes. So, uh, if if there's a difficult situation, why don't consult them? And that's what we do. So, I think. Uh, being uh, on a journey together like the 11 city tour is a journey it's a 200 and something k journey uh, and we are taking that journey with uh, not only the athletes but also with the volunteers with the board and being on a journey together and deciding uh,
going left or right during that journey, I think that makes it special. And what do you want to say to people who are still not sure if they are going to pedal it or not? Maybe not this year, but maybe next year? Uh, well, it was funny. Uh, I saw uh, an interview with Danny Ching, I think, last week on, uh, on uh, the, ch the channel, the Sub-11 City Tour channel. Uh, oh, I, I didn't know about the interview, and I, I saw it was really funny uh, that he said, well, I'm a little bit afraid of doing it, because once I've done it one time, I want to do it more. I want to do it every year. So that's why I'm, I didn't do it so far. So I think that's the best thing uh, that someone can say about the event. And I think that explains why every volunteer wants to come back, why uh, if, if you're, uh, you have been in Friesland during the 11th City Tour, joining it, and, and you're not there the year after, uh, you think, I'm in the wrong place. So I think um, if you want to do it, be sure you want to do it because you're in it for a few years. So that's what happened to me because I was in it for one year, but now I'm in it for 11 years. Uh, you are on the other side of the microphone, but you're also in it for a few years. And I think when you started it, you were thinking, okay, I'm going to do it a few years and then, but it's, it's an addiction. Uh, not only for the athletes, but also for the volunteers, also for the board. Uh, so if you're addicted, if you want to be addicted, <laughs> you come to Friesland. If you want to stay safe, stay home. I guess it's time for a beer now. <laughs> exactly. Um, yeah. N uh, well said. Well said. I mean, I can only uh, agree with you. Um, thank you, and uh, we'll um, see Kiki next week uh, as she is uh, the third bo board member. Here, here you go. Here's to uh, one of our sponsors. We of course have a lot of sponsors. Um, like our main sponsor is uh, Mistral for a few years. And um, in these difficult times, we hope all of our sponsors survive so we can survive also. Cheers again. Cheers.